Welcome to the T-Value Online video training series. In this example, we'll calculate the payments on a lease where we also have a residual payment. The assumptions we'll use for our calculation will be a $100,000 lease at 11% for the lease rate. We'll have a term of five years or 60 payments, and we'll have a residual payment at the end of 20%. So we'd like to calculate what our regular lease payments will be. Set our rate was at 11%. We'll come down to our first cash flow line. We'll start our lease on January 1st, and it's $100,000. Our lease payments will start a month later. We're going to solve for those. We said our term was at 60 payments with a residual payment at the end. So we'll put our 60 payments on line two. The uh, line three will have our residual lease payment. We're going to back the date up on that to be the same day as the last date in our regular payment series, which will be 1-1-2023. We can see that as the end date on line two. And we know that 20% of our lease amount is going to be 20,000. So we'll enter that in as our lease payment. And we can further identify that as our residual payment by coming into the event names and calling that a residual just to help uh, the nomenclature a little bit in our calculation. Then we'll go over to the calculate button. If we calculate this, we'll see our lease payment of 1922, and that factors in that residual payment at the end as well. If we can ever help you do a calculation like this using T-Value Online, never hesitate to contact us. We'll help you get the most from your software. You can reach us by email at info at timevalue.com or by phone at 800-426-4741. Thank you.